every some other distance we were driving to a village and in every village there is a small mosque which is of a pretty similar style as we drove south i can feel the, the landscape is getting a little bit greener we can even see some step farms <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel, season 2 on Sing China. So after finishing Donghuang, I and Flo, firstly we went to Zhangye and see the beautiful Danxia landform. There are so many people, but still this colorful landform is very impressive. And then we drove through Qilian mountain range and we've seen this beautiful Qilian Da Caoyuan, the big area and now we've seen the Menyuan Yu Cai Hua, the beautiful ribseed flower landscape and now we reached Xining, the capital city of Qinghai province. We had a very short stay in Qinghai province so we roam around and we were in the Chengdongju so probably it's mainly the Hui community. We've seen a lot of different mosques and what impresses me is that those mosques have a architecture style that combines traditional Chinese architect architecture as well as the Islam architecture. Xining is really a place well different cultures merge together and we also try some amazing hala food in Xining and, and yeah but today we're going to have a new journey. Today we're going from Lanzhou to Gannan Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. In this region, the Tibetan Plateau descends into the Loasis Plateau. We also drive through Lingxia Hui Prefecture, which has predominantly Muslim population. And within Lingxia, there is Dongxiang County, which has mainly Dongxiang people, an ethnicity that I heard only for the first time. There are quite a lot of Hui population in Lanzhou as well, so this is one of the big mosque and besides Hui population there is also Dongxiangzu which is also considered as one branch of Hui they also follow up Islam they're passing by a huge oil uh, refinement infrastructure and uh, Lanzhou has a huge industrial area uh, in the past Lanzhou city is kind of famous for its air pollution now it has got much better From Lanzhou to Yongjing, the landscape features those ragged mountains and because this is the edge of uh, Huangtu Gaoyuan, Luasis Plateau and it starts from uh, Gobi Desert and it's surrounded by Huanghe River and here there is a very spectacular landscape that is a meeting point of two uh, tributaries of Huanghe River, Yellow River I'm now walking in this viewing platform, it's a bit scary. And I think it's a little bit scared because it goes quite deep and um, you have to wear these protection things on your shoes to not make scratches in the glass. And look how deep it goes. And then you have this beautiful view. So that is a famous yellow river, but at its origin, it's not yellow, it's very clean. The water comes from the Tibetan plateau, or yes, the other one, that is uh, Taohe. Since the river flows through this Loasis plateau, there is a lot of sand in it. And in the middle, there is a clear line. Look.
drove into Lingxia Hui Prefecture, and on the way to Dongxiang, we saw many green buildings, which we later realized are mosques. Dongxiang people are the descendants of Central Asia Salt people, who migrated to Mongol ruled China in the 14th century. And there are several big mosques in town, and even a Koran library. We stopped for lunch in Dongxiang County, when seeing a watermelon stand, Flo again wants to weigh himself. Oh, <laughs> 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 I haven't weighed so I haven't weighed so much for five years. <laughs> so little. I haven't weighed so little. So Flo is pretty excited that after many days of healthy eating. Yeah, and many days China, of delicious Chinese food. He lost some weight. <laughs> People here the look a little bit different. Some of them have light, very light uh, eyebrows. Okay. Hi. 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 We had a lot of fun strolling on the street. People are quite friendly, yet some of them are very shy. They're staring at Flo, but they dare not to say to come over and talk to him. This is quite a, a pretty cool noodle shop. People come in and out for noodles. Dongxiang is extremely unknown. Many Chinese probably have never heard of it. And Flo might be the first foreigner who came here in many years. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, Flo is the only foreigner in the county. <laughs> After photo taking, we went to a noodle shop. Beef noodle is Lanzhou's specialty. They make fresh noodles of eight styles. And that's what's special about noodles in. Uh, in Gansu, you don't have the sing or sick one, but you have this Mao Xi, Xi Di San Xi Da Kuan Jiu Ye. So they have so many different kind of noodles. You can customize it, and we would like to try this Da Kuan Mian. In the kitchen, there is a big pot with boiling beef broth. The noodle is also served with spring onions and red chili oil. And one big bowl costs only 8 yuan which equals about one U.S. dollar. We've got a cup of tea and we have some small dishes. This is pickled, uh, pickled cabbage and this is uh, some tofu and this is radish. And the driver just told us this is called a date tea, which is basically a bread tea uh, together with dried dates. So there is a natural sweetness and uh, the fragrance of the date inside. In every um, like Hui Ming, like Hui minority or Dongxiao minority restaurant, there is a big pot and you can take it by, by yourself. I had noodles in many provinces, but to my experience, Gansu noodle is by far the top ranking. It's even better than the noodles in Sichuan, in Chongqing, and Xinjiang. Hello, I've never seen a mosque like this before. 
so it has like these old Chinese elements but then um, as you can see on the rooftop it's a it's a Muslim building so it's really it's really impressive I find yeah it's one of the quite an interesting combination of traditional Chinese architecture and uh, the Islam architecture and Dongxiangzu uh, as I heard they are pretty close to Huizu and they are one of the many ethnic minorities that follow Islam every some other distance we were driving to a village and in every village there is a small mosque which is of a pretty similar style as we drove south i can feel the, the landscape is getting a little bit greener we can even see some step farms there is always new exciting discoveries on my trip i learned about new people and it was the first time to see mosques of this kind I was also surprised to know that there are terraced farm on Lois's plateau and for a long time I thought it was just a region where crops can hardly grow. Top, there is a mosque. Uh, you probably can't see it clearly uh, from the GoPro, but there is a Chinese pagoda, a Chinese tower that is used as a minaret, and perhaps that is quite unique in this area. And that mosque, too. Then we met a young guy when he knew that Flo comes from Germany, he got excited. Uh. So Can't like a natural gas uh, burner like for cooking it. It's called Fisman. Fisman. The brand. Yes. If you have been to China, probably you know that Chinese people are very friendly towards foreigners. They will tell you that your Chinese is great, you are very good looking, they will even go further to invite you for a drink or for dinner. So today was the occasion, and after a few chats, this gentleman invited us to his restaurant, which is just next to us. Uh, so we accepted the kind invitation of this brother. He wants to invite us, especially this German friend, for some shou zhua yang rou. Those uh, uh, shou zhua, so something a lamb that you use, you eat with your hands. It's a specialty here. Wow. <laughs> 我叫了一个德国的飞机，它的中文名叫唐唐乐。唐乐，哇，哇，这是 such a nice restaurant, very cozy and very green. We are firstly served with a big tray with different materials for the eight treasure tea. 就缺一个葡萄干,核桃仁,就是八宝就够了 This is how people drink tea in northern part of China, in southern part of China it's completely different 
，不是喝的时候，你看，有时候茶也飘起来了吧？嗯，盖子这么一块。So this brother just invited us for this uh, a lot of dishes and many of them look so good. This is a shouzha yang rou, lamb rib, and that is liang pi, and then some bowls of steamed buns. Wow, thank you. Ah, 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 兰州去了，这个牌子挂着东乡手抓，东乡手抓。哦，对，路上我也看见过，有那个什么东乡、啊、东乡手抓。啊，他们是挂的牌子，但是现在我们真正的的东乡了，嗯，这就是最正宗的东乡手抓。今天你运车，碰着我了，你就吃上了东乡手抓了，不然你就白来一趟。对对对对，谢谢了。今天运气是真的好。<笑> We are actually extremely lucky to have met him because he invited us for the most authentic. Now we are really full. So to be honest, we were full before, but the the guy he really wanted us to go there. At the beginning we were hesitating, but then we were just like, okay, let's let's go with him. And um, it was one of the really really nice Chinese hospitable moments where you really find the the the, the real Chinese hospitality. From this side. When we were about to leave, it was almost 4 p.m. So he even got on our car, accompanying us for some distance to make sure that we get out of the town the fastest way. For the rest of the day, we kept seeing mosques and minarets with traditional Chinese feature. We continued driving until the night came. Finally, a white stupa appeared, and I knew that we've entered another culture. Ganan Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. We have reached Xia uh, He and uh, we are looking for the hostel and some kids come around and they are asking him to say some, some foreign language. <laughs> they are asking you to speak some foreign language. Hello, yes. Bye 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 bye. You go to Chinian Lu Shu. Oh, is that this one? This one. This one. This one. Ah. Yes. So this. Ah, yes. You are from where? Yes. We are from Lanzhou. Not far. 对，我从德国回来了。德国。对对对。那你怎么这么像外国的那样？对，我是外国人。哈哈哈哈哈哈！谢谢你们啊。谢谢。再见嘞。So we have finally reached Xiahe, which is in the Ganan Tibetan、uh, Autonomous, and、um, our hostel is actually quite cool. But I think we will show it to you. Tomorrow. tomorrow, I've just took a shower and we're going to sleep very soon. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you like it, please give us a thumb up. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>